Hello and welcome to another episode of Methods of a Peeper. This is Methods of a Peeper 6 and today we'll be talking about picture peeping. Uh, picture peeping has gotten a lot more common here at the park since the advancements in digital technology and iPhones and uh, cell phones with cameras in them and such. Uh, right here I want to give you an idea of the uh, stage set. Uh, the panties are there on the left and the picture peeper is here on the right. Um, that is his camera dangling from his wrist, and he will be doing some classic uh, picture peeping um, today here at the park. Now, most of the time, picture peeping uh, peepers only utilize the snapshot feature on their cameras. This particular peeper, however, has a camera which allows him to take video, so he is actually a video peeper. Um, this is the second category of a picture peeper. The method that this particular picture peeper is beginning with is the letting the camera dangle by a side off of his right wrist there. And then after getting uh, a amount of footage, he then takes the camera, looks and see how his peeping session went, um, and then makes adjustments in his techniques um, from there. We're going to see this particular picture peeper go through several different types of picture peeping. He's going to uh, the dangling method, which you just saw. He also is doing right now a pretending to calculate numbers on a calculator while he holds the camera in his hand uh, and snap or and videos his uh, his target. The upside of using this technique uh, is he gets to view what he's videotaping. He gets to see the uh, angle and if it's working or not and make adjustments from there. The downside, however, is he's not at the level to actually shoot up the skirt. You'll notice his frustration here that it's not a working method. He's going to give the pretending to calculate numbers technique a little bit more time. Um, he's going to find that this isn't going to work and proper elevation is going to be essential for him to get the end product that he desires. So from here, we're going to get to see a combination of the first technique, which was letting it dangle low enough from his wrist, and the second technique, which was holding it, into a combined technique of holding it by his side. This keeps the camera still, lets him shoot the video, as you can see there, and still have enough control without it swinging around on the string to get what he wants. Right now, don't let this fool you. He's casually milling about, so hopefully not to direct attention to himself and what he's doing. Because as you'll remember from past lessons, one of the most important things for a successful peeper to have is a magma, a uh, make-believe acting casual milling about. And this is precisely what this particular peeper is doing. He's just making believe to act casual, uh, milling about. He's not actually peeping at all. He's just milling about, just casual. To the layman, uh, a MACMA is a working method for disguising peeping. Uh, to, a, to the trained eye, such as myself, not only do I notice it, but this technique stands out like a sore thumb to me. When I see someone performing a MACMA, um, I realize that, oh, I've got a peeper here. I can uh, s figure out what his techniques are, learn from him, uh, and try and share it with the rest of the world. Uh, I want people to notice the gradual evolution uh, that you're able to witness right here in just a short amount of time within a oh a 45 minute time frame where he originally started with the dangling the camera from the wrist moved to pretending to calculate numbers while holding and now he's got a uh, holding it down uh, at a level where it dangled before but holding it still combining the two it's a uh, uh, seeing the this sort of thing oh here's the mustache peeper in a peeping session of his own but let's go back to our man the picture peeper uh, and discuss the importance of the this anatomy, this region, uh, to a peeper. It's more than just um, a passing fancy or a hobby. Um, it's a way of life, and uh, I think that these videos can illustrate that. Uh, for instance, our uh, peeper, our picture peeper, has now moved to a different part of the park. He's left the... Uh, 
other panties behind moved on to these new ones here and he's using the technique that he had perfected earlier keeping his uh, camera low um, held steady now prepared to take long extended videos that he can uh, view temp you know view to see how they're coming out, but in the end have a long product that he can take home and use or, or you know, use however he wishes. So he doesn't have to just peep at the park. He'll be able to continue his peeping session at home and into the night and maybe even at work and throughout his day. In what I suspect is the goal of reaching a continuous not, uh, peeping session without end. Uh, and I, I think that's the ultimate goal. I think all the peepers would agree on that. I believe that by uh, viewing these peeping videos, um, getting yourself in the mindset of a peeper, we are able to understand uh, the importance of peeping, the world in which a peeper sees himself in, what he can take from it, and of course, eventually, the ultimate goal of, of peeping. Um, a continual, uh, never-ending peeping session. That is 100% focused on panties. And I believe that the uh, the need for this is so great, it, it obviously goes beyond a hobby or just a passing interest into the realm of necessity, so the way you or I would need food or air or love to have a full life, um, a peeper needs panties. He needs that region uh, of the body to um, feel ultimate life. And in the end, each peeper, I'm sure, feels that on their deathbed, they hope that they'll be able to look back at the life that they have lived and having uh, a majority, even more than a majority of their life spent peeping panties. Um, in real life, on the uh, video recording device uh, at home, during the day, in the nighttime, just a constant focus on panties. Panties, 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 panties. That's, that's the thought process that is going through um, our picture peeper's head right now and goes through all of the peeper's heads. Panties, 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 panties. It's the word that's just repeated over and over and over again. Um, you'll, you'll even see him try to distract, you'll see a peeper try and distract themselves from that word, from, from uh, the panties, from peeping, uh, but it cannot be done. They will uh, continue to, their focus to be between uh, the legs, to have the panties at the center of that target. Even after the panties have left, as I've shown in earlier videos, they continue to return back to that spot where the panties were and uh, and circling the park, circling the world uh, for more panties. There's no limit to the amount of panties that uh, uh, your peeper can see and still ever see satisfaction. That is what I hope to illustrate with these methods of a peeper videos. And I, I, I suppose that I hope that even if it's just for the duration of these 10 minute long YouTube videos, you will um, can put yourself in the shoes of a peeper, see the world through a different set of eyes, and just experience life fuller um, than you would having not seen them. Um, the peepers are a very important part of Union Square to me. Um, I put a lot of time into putting these videos together, hoping to get quality uh, for each of you. If you uh, are enjoying these, I, I thank you for coming again and again to watch my Methods of a Peeper series. And uh, they're brought to you by Jesus Dress Up Fridge Magnets. If you like what you see, go to JesusDressUp.com, buy some Jesus Dress Up Fridge Magnets. I'll continue to bring you Peeper videos either way. And that draws this picture peeping session to an end. I'd like to thank you for coming to the site. I am so happy to be able to bring these to you. Um, this is an amazing strangers production of normalbobsmith.com. Thank you very much for coming.